Initial public comment period. As always, we ask you to please stand, state your name for the record. Initial public comment. Sir? Uh, my name is uh, Tyron Chase, and I live at 18 Mulvey Avenue in the village, and I've resided there for the last 30 years. I have a couple of issues pertaining to the DPW that I'd like to bring before the board tonight. In those 40 years, I have never, ever, not once, had an issue with the services that were provided to me by the village of DC until recently. Approximately within the last four to six months, there is a new crew on my garden trail. The guy that is on the recyclable truck can't do enough for you. Any problems, any questions, let me know. Thank you very much. The guy on the garbage truck, it's just the opposite. He's sarcastic, he's rude, anything you say to him, he has a comeback. It all started, I have two small dogs that are paper trained, so I have a lot of dirty newspapers in my garbage every day. I put them out in a clear bag, and with nothing else, just the newspapers, all crumbled up. The new guy says, comes along one day, and I was standing on my porch, and I saw him with something in his hand, and he was writing, and he went over to my garbage, and he put a tag on it. I opened the door, and I said, is there something wrong with my garbage? And he said, yes. He said, you've got... Uh, um, recyclables in the garbage. And I said, no, sir, I don't. And I said, let me explain to you what the situation is. And I explained to him about my dogs. Well, he said to me, how am I supposed to know that? And I said, well, for one thing, I said, they are in a clear bag. They are all crumpled up. They are all by themselves, and they're not in with my recyclables. Well, he didn't know about that. He wasn't going to take them. And I said, well, I said, if you don't, if you can't figure it out for yourself, and you don't want to take my word for it, and I'll be very honest with you, I said to him, open up the bag and put it to the sniff test. Of course, he didn't like that. I know it was sarcastic, but at that point, I was a bit frustrated. He drove away. I called down to the DPW, and I forget who was on the, in charge that day. It was some man, it was several months ago, and I can't even remember his name. He thought it was a big joke. But I let him know I didn't think it was a joke. I was paying for garbage pickup, and I wanted my garbage pickup. Well, they came back and picked it up, and he said, I'll speak. Well, obviously he did, because the next week he picked up my gar garbage, and I didn't have any issues. Well, then they started switching up the route every week. For years, and I mean for 40 years, and all the time that I resided on Mulvey Avenue, they go up one side of Mulvey Avenue, pick up the garbage, and come down the other. Never had a problem, always within the same time every week, within an hour or so, no problem. Is there, is there variables to that? Absolutely. If there's a holiday and they got a piggyback or there's something going on where they're doubling up and puts the root off a little bit, I totally understand that. Not every single week. So I called down to the DPW again. I'm down in the office and said, would you like to speak to the superintendent? And I said, yes, I would. And she said, well, he's in a meeting right now, but I'll have him call you back. Well, I waited almost three hours, and I didn't hear from him. And I thought, well, maybe I should call the mayor and ask the mayor. So I called the mayor, and the mayor said, well, I'll get a hold of him, and I'll have him call you back. Well, he called me back in a little over an hour from then, and the conversation started off fine and well. And I told him, I said, I don't understand. I said, for 40 years, the road has always been the same, up and down. I said, one week they go up Malby, the traditional way, and go down the other side. The next week they might go up South Street, be gone to one side of Malby, go up South Street, and then come back an hour later to the other side of Malby. They might start at 9 o'clock in the morning, they might start at 12 noon, they might start at 2 o'clock. And as far as that goes, I don't care. Just pick a time that you want to do it, and how you want to do it, and have a little bit of consistency to it. I don't like putting my garbage out and having it on the street for hours and all the animals get in. I like to know within a couple of hours when the truck is coming. When it comes, I don't care. So I told that to the superintendent. He told me that his men, it's their prerogative to switch the road up any way that they like, all for efficiency. And I said, I'm all for efficiency, but what I don't understand is 
switch up the route, try it a few different ways, decide which way is more efficient, and stick to it. But don't keep switching it up every week. I don't understand that. He got very belligerent with me, started screaming at me on the telephone because I was questioning him. I told him, I said, you need to lower your voice. When I said that to him, he screamed even louder. I told him, I didn't want to just be rude and hang the phone right up on him. I said, I'm going to hang up now. But when I hang up, I'm going to call the mayor and I'm going to let the mayor know what transpired in this phone call. I hung up the phone. I called the mayor back. I told the mayor a couple things I had heard about the superintendent. One he said was not true, the other he didn't. And I said, well, I can confirm the second one because I said I've just experienced it. I'm ready to take this to an executive session. I don't think we need to. Right. I don't have a problem with what you're saying. I just don't think this is the right forum for this conversation. You just asked I'm ready to go to an exec executive like session like we're, discuss we're discussing we're discussing personnel. We may be discussing personnel, but you're discussing not uh, this is a hearsay of personnel. No, it's not hearsay. Who uh, confirmed I say, it? I say let the gentleman finish. Who confirmed his, it? Let the gentleman finish his I'm not in favor of it and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tolerate it. Yeah, it's regarding the performance of a particular report. I can second. So, motion and a second to enter an executive session. Opposed in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, opposed? Opposed. Executive session. We'll go down the hall. Sure. Uh, probably across. Yeah, that'd be fine. Yes. 